first I, I want to go and, and talk about the news of the past like three hours, and that is that Kay Hagan refused to show up to a debate in North Carolina, which has been a highly contested race. Kay Hagan did not show up. Tom Tillis was allowed to debate a chair uh, in in North Carolina tonight. Uh, Andy, I, I know you had some some comments on this. Uh, Andy, what what do you got on 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 North Carolina? Well, I don't know. I was just asking if Tillis won. How did he fare? I mean, I saw. Uh, I think that he throwing the chair across, throwing a chair across the stage, and whatever. I didn't even know what that meant until now. No, he he wasn't actually literally debating a chair. There was there's an empty chair there where Kay Hagan was supposed to be, but she wasn't there because I don't know. We do know uh, hosts, radio hosts, who've been known for throwing chairs. Um, so <laughs> it's not out of the realm of possibility, but I think uh, given his situation, he probably refrained. Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, thankfully, I think I think this was just a pure win for Tom Tillis. Uh, we just he, he got to to speak for the entire duration of the debate. Just him. He just he got to he got to present his side of things, and uh, Kay Hagan's little defense team, uh, her her PR guys were on Twitter the whole time trying to f live fact check um, Tom Tillis's comments. It was it's pretty you know it's pretty amazing that this is I mean this is normally the stuff the kind of stuff that happens to us. I mean this is normally the kind of stuff that happens to to Republicans. I mean. This is insane that just the level of incompetence and you, you don't show up to a debate and you're trying to win this election in North Carolina. Who knows the effect that that's going to have on this race. But it was a tight race uh, going into this debate and uh, hopefully it's going to be a little bit better for Tom Tillis coming out of that. Um, you know, I, I'm sure we'll have more on that in the future. Uh, Fisher, what was that? Does anybody know what the polling has been there recently? Tillis has pulled even. It was it what Hagen had a solid lead and it kept shrinking and Tillis had pulled to like even or within one point. Wow. Well, and, and it's interesting that the the you know skipping a debate is a, a positive tactic that they that campaign thought Hagen should engage in. Um, here's an interesting tweet from the Twitchy article. Um, from Cam Harris US when it comes to ways to know your candidate is losing refusing to debate is up there with distributing flyers with a lynching on it which also happened this week well she I think the doesn't it seem like most of this came about because of the all the financial issues with basically her family getting ton, was that was that her with her family getting tons of money uh, tax dollars through green energy and so forth. I saw that it was ranging now to four four hundred fifty five hundred thousand dollars that her family cashed in. I, I don't know. I'm I, I'm not familiar with that story, but uh, it is kind of amazing uh, that Democrats thought it would be a good idea to uh, to make that that uh, that little advertisement, that little that little thing for basically saying that if Kay Hagan doesn't get elected that Obama will be impeached and having the pictures, that those graphic images of a lynching going on in, uh, like, and, and distributed that, uh, it, it, it's, it's mind-blowing. On the cars of parishioners of black churches. I'm, it's, it's racist, first off. Second off, I mean, seriously? That's you're going to. I mean, I know that they they like to call us racists. They that they like to call us racists. But that's the kind of rhetoric that you're going to use. That's the kind of image that you're going to you're going to say that that if the Republican wins, there's going to be a lynching. The the race there in North Carolina, it is tightening up, and hopefully we can actually. I mean, we, we we've talked about the race in North Carolina here a bunch over the past couple of weeks. And it's been with varying degrees of, of uh, you know, tums that we've had to take to make sure that we got through the segments. 
because of how close it was and because of, of uh, you know, the attacks that, that Hagen was, was leveling against Hillis and talking about the war on women and all that junk. But this is unprecedented. The, the amount of self-destruction that's going on in the, in the Democrats' uh, you know, inner workings the past couple of weeks. But if you look at the total audience of Americans watching news on TV, Fox News gets 10% of them. 